You asked for it, so here it is. How to create your own PDF to use in GoodNotes. Hi friends, it's Mary from Aforementioned and Thoughts, and today I am going to share with you how to use your scanned files or photos to create a PDF of your planner to use digitally in GoodNotes or another PDF annotator. You all have been asking for this on so many of my planning videos, and so I'm so happy to show that to you. Now, I use a Happy Planner to plan digitally. However, I no longer have that Happy Planner. I got rid of it because I didn't want the clutter once I had it scanned and I was using it digitally um, with success. So I no longer have that planner. I can't show you exactly with the Happy Planner, but what I am, I have a, I have a calendar from the dollar store. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scan one of the spreads here and show you how to do this. I work on a Mac. Um, so I'm working on a MacBook and I am using Keynote to do this. If you have Windows, I'm absolutely sure there's a way to do it, but honestly I don't use my Windows computer much anymore, so I'm not exactly sure how to do that. I may try to figure it out in the future and show you, but for right now, this is how to do it on a Mac and uh, this is how you just create a PDF and then you just import that PDF to um, GoodNotes or another PDF annotator to plan digitally. So here we go. I'm going to assume that you already have the files, um, I'm sorry, your the photos, the scans of your planner loaded and ready to go. If you need directions on that, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to see if there's an option that I can do for that. Um, for my Happy Planner, I scanned it with my Doxy scanner, um, which I'll link in the comments below if you are interested in what that is. Um, it, was um, I, I do love my doxy however I think I mentioned in my first video it is a rough process to scan and go through all of these and it is not necessarily something that I suggest but so many of you asked I wanted to show you how to do it um, in this case I didn't want to take apart the planner I showed you earlier um, so I just scanned it using my phone um, I tried that with the happy planner but the colors were really off, um, probably due to my lighting, so I did not want to do that with my entire Happy Planner. I wanted it to look better. That's why I used my Doxy. If you're in Keynote and you already have your files loaded on your computer ready to go as JPEGs, what you're going to do is you're going to choose white for your background. You're going to remove the text boxes that are already on there by selecting those and hitting delete. And then you need to make a template that is um, the size it's a ratio size that will fit two of your scanned pages. Now this will depend on the size of your planner and all of that. Um, for my planner that I showed you earlier that I scanned for this video, um, the size that worked best for me was 1055 by 777 and those are pixels. Um, so for the planner that worked for me, I tried this a bit earlier so that I can get it right for you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to document up in the upper right hand corner and I'm going to go down to slide size and I'm going to choose custom slide size. And um, I tried this out a little bit earlier with the planner that I showed you, showed you. So this may be a good starting point, but you're likely going to need to, um, make it fit for what you need. But this is probably a good starting point. So mine is 1055 points or pixels by 777 pixels. And what I'm trying to do with this is to get something so that both pages that I scan can go side by side, just as if I was opening a book. Because GoodNotes um, does not allow for two pages to be shown side by side. So um, I want them to show side by side just as I was be looking at it if it was open in my desk. So once that's done, I like to zoom out just a bit because I want to make sure that everything's fitting on the pages it should. So if you go up to view and uh, go to zoom and zoom out, that's enough to let me see the edges and where I'm at. What I need to do is insert my photos of my pages and I just did one layout for this to show you all. You need to choose insert and you need to go to choose and then you need to go where your JPEG image is. Choose and insert. Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just clicking and using my arrow and moving it over to the right hand side and then I'm clicking using my arrow and dragging it over to the left hand side and then this is where 
you just tweak it. So as you see, my pages don't exactly line up. Um, even when I was using my Doxy, which worked a lot better than photo scanning um, with my phone, it still, none of the pages lined up exactly. So I just kind of play with it and uh, the best way I can to make it fit. So you see, I don't even have all of Wednesday there, but I'm just kind of scooting it so the lines are close. And honestly, I haven't had any problem with this with my Happy Planner so far. So these things on the edges are going to get cut off when I save it. And uh, it's going to be pretty close. You see, um, especially because I took a photo, some of these are a little curved and things like that. But that is how you make a two-page spread. And then if, as you want to add more pages, you're going to right-click over here on the first, and you're going to duplicate this to go to a second page. And then um, what I did, since I already had the sizes lined up, is I right clicked on it and um, I clicked replace image and replaced it that way. When you have this completely done, you're going to go up to file and export to PDF. And then um, you're going to go ahead and save that to your computer and then transfer it to your iPad um, into GoodNotes. Or you can save it to Dropbox and bring it into GoodNotes, um, whichever works best for you. So this is not a perfect science, and as I've said in other videos, I'm not even sure that I suggest scanning um, your planner. I love the Happy Planner. It's such a cute design, but honestly, I don't know if I would scan it again, um, just because if you can imagine doing this for an entire year of uh, spreads, it's incredibly time-consuming, and it's also kind of frustrating when some of the scans don't turn out great. Um, I didn't go back and redo them because I just didn't have it in me, um, but obviously you could if you wanted to. That would just take a little more time. So my plan next year, if I decide to go forward with digital planning, is I'm considering designing my own, and if I don't design my own, there are some amazing designers out there, um, and I'll share that at the end of the year if I decide to go forward with digital paper planning or if I'm just going to use my apps doing it that way. If you are interested in taking the plunge and scanning your planner, this is how you do it through Keynote. Um, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below. And if you would like any other directions on how I set up my planner, um, please let me know specifics in the comments below and I'll be happy to help in whatever way I can. If you'd like to see more digital planning videos, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. There will be more in the future. And please hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.